ridicule them. And this Qurtubi quote, Qurtubi cites Ibn al uh, uh, Ibn al oh, sorry, Arabi. to demonstrate that Muhammad cannot be a true prophet of the true God. <clears throat> Some of the teachings that, in my estimation, no rational person could accept as being inspired by God. Mock them, ridicule them. Bukhari, volume 4, book 55, number 543. Narrate Abu Huraira, the prophet said, Allah created Adam and his height was 60 cubits. According to Muhammad, Adam, when he was created, was 90 feet tall just as about large as this building. Now how many of you believe that? Some of the teachings that in my estimation, no rational person could accept have no clue what their book says, what their own book says. Check the first video I ever made about evolution, and you'll see I talk about giants. Giant people. Hmm. Genesis chapter 6, verse 4. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God, which are demons, came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. Genesis also claims that man started smart, tall, 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 and in direct contact with God. We're finding 12 to 16 to 50 foot man skeletons, bigger than any man alive today. Some of the teachings that, in my estimation, no rational person could accept. Some of the teachings that, in my estimation, no rational person could accept. The giants of old. The giants of old. Christianity, according to the Bible. In fact, when Jesus spoke about the kingdom of God, he spoke about a kingdom which in some ways resemble our present kingdom. And if you think the sons of God in heaven do not have sex, then what were they doing in Genesis chapter 6, mating with the daughters of, of men and producing the giants of old? And producing the giants of old? And producing the giants of old? Now, how many of you believe that? There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. Now, how many of you believe that?
Now, how many of you believe that? Some of the teachings that, in my estimation, no rational person could accept. And then the Athanasian Creed, which nobody reads now because it's so unbearably bad, you can't even stand it. It says that the Father is God, and the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. Now, there's not three gods, but it's one God. And people are just baffled, as well they should be. Some of the teachings that, in my estimation, no rational person could accept. There was a church father named Tertullian of Carthage. And Tertullian was debating a pagan right, named Chelsus about the Trinity. And they were going back and forth. And at the end, Tertullian said, I believe in the Trinity because it is absurd. That was his final, that was his final comment. It's absurd. That's why I believe in it. That was his final that was his final comment. It's absurd, that's why I believe in it. The true ideas that he has really are to mock people and denigrate them. Well, um, according to the Bible, there were giants.